In part 1, Crochet Flower Tutorial 65, we made this nice center for our Narcissus flower. Now, to make petals, we need to join new yarn to work. You can join the yarn to any of the elements. Insert the hook through the third chain stitch. Take the new yarn and pull it through. And now I will begin my first petal. This will be my round four. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Then double treble crochet two times through the next stitch. Yarn over the hook three times for a double treble. One and the second double treble through the same stitch. Two. Through the next stitch, work one double treble stitch and one treble. Double treble is ready. Work a treble through the same stitch. Then through the next stitch, treble crochet one and double crochet one. Treble crochet is ready and double is ready. Through the next stitch, work a double crochet stitch and a half double crochet stitch. Double is ready, work a half double through the same stitch. And through the last stitch, work a half double crochet stitch. Here we've made the first petal. Now to continue with the next second petal, make a slip stitch through the third chain stitch on the next element. Here we have chain stitches, one, two, three, work through the third chain stitch, work a slip stitch. Then follow the same instruction as for the first petal, chain five and continue the same. Work till the end of this round, making petals the same way. By the end of the round, there will be six petals. Here I made five petals. Let's continue together and crochet the last one. To begin the last petal, make a slip stitch through the third chain stitch of our last element. Then chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Double treble crochet two times through the next stitch. One and the second double treble through the same stitch. Two. Through the next stitch, work a double treble and a treble. Through the next stitch, treble crochet one and double crochet one. Through the next stitch, double crochet one and half double crochet one. And through the last stitch, work a half double crochet stitch. Complete this round by making a slip stitch through the third chain stitch of our first element or petal. This is the chain stitch that I joined the new yarn through. Slip stitch is made. Now we can begin the next round, round five. Single crochet five times around the chain stitches here I made one, single crochet four more, two, three, four, and five. Then single crochet three in each of next eight stitches, work around the petal, three, 
four, five, six, seven, and eight. Here we have left one stitch of this petal. Work single crochet two together, insert the hook through this next stitch, pull up a loop through, hold two loops on the hook, insert the hook through the next chain space of five, pull up a loop through, then yarn over and pull through three. Here we made two single crochet decrease stitch to begin to work around the second petal. Continue single crochet four more around this chain stitches. Three and four. Then single crochet through each of next eight stitches working around the petal. Continue till the end of this round and work around each petal following the same instruction as for the first petal. I almost done with this round. I still need to work around the last petal. Let's continue together. Single crochet two together. Insert the hook through the last stage of this petal, pull up a loop through, hold two loops on the hook, then pull up a loop through the chain space, yarn over, pull through three to complete the decrease stitch. Now single crochet four more around the chain stitches, one, two, three, and four. Now continue single crochet through in each of next eight stitches. Here I have one stitch left. To complete the round five, pull up a loop through this last stitch on this petal, then pull up a loop through the first single crochet worked around the chain stitches and pull this loop through two loops on the hook. The flower is already beautiful, so you can stop your work at this point. Here, for a demonstration, I have the same flower made of white yarn with Lurex. As for me, I would like to continue and make another round of picots. So let's begin the round six. Single crochet through the next single crochet and work a three chain picot. Chain three and a slip in two strands of single crochet. Then single crochet through the next stitch and make a picot on top. Work the same through an inch of next stitch around the petal. Single crochet, chain three and a slip and two strands of single crochet. Single crochet through the next stitch and work a pico chain three and a slip and two strands of single crochet. Work in this way until you reach the last stitch of this petal. And then I will show you how to complete this petal and begin the trim around the next one. Single crochet and make a pico on top. Single crochet, chain three, and a slip in two strands of single crochet. Let's see. Here I have one, two single crochet stitches of this petal, and the next stitch is a decrease stitch. So through the next stitch, work a single crochet with a pico on top. And now we have single crochet stitch, decrease stitch in between the petals. So single crochet 
through the last stitch of this petal. This is the next stitch. Then skip the decrease stitch and through the first single crochet of the second petal work a single crochet with a pico on top. Chain three and a slip in two strands of single crochet. Here is the way how we begin the trim around the next petal. So continue and work the same trim around each petal. Work till the end of this round. I completed five petals. Let's work pico trim around the last petal and finish the flower. Here to begin the second petal work a single crochet through the last single crochet of this previous petal then skip the decrease stitch that is in between two petals and then single crochet through the next single crochet and work a pico on top chain three and a slip stitch in two strands of single crochet as you can see, our trim looks the same good in between the petals. So continue single crochet and work a pico on top. Work through in each next stitch around the last petal. Single crochet and work a pico chain three and a slip in two strands of single crochet. single crochet and work a pico on top single crochet through the next stitch chain three and a slip and two strands of single crochet work until you reach the last stage of this petal single crochet, chain three and a slip in two strands of single crochet. I have several more stitches to go. Single crochet with pico. And here I have the last stage on this petal. Just work a single crochet through. Skip the decrease stitch that is between the petals and complete the round by making a slip stitch through the first single crochet that is with pico. Our flower is ready. It has bright 3D center with little spirals and six flat petals. Let me show you the back as well. Thanks a lot for watching and please make sure to subscribe for more free tutorials.